So we are doing speaker here today. Amen. And we are doing live videoing. So we have much to do, much to accomplish. Amen. And getting this word of God out here today. And so church, we love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. And I want to thank you for staying connected to the ministry as we get into this word and unpacking this word of God. You know, God is sharing that he will protect us. Amen. God is sharing that he will lead us, that he will guide us into all the areas and aspects that he chooses to want to work for and in our lives. Amen. They're out of the book of Psalms. I'm going to be reading there in chapter 121. Amen. And as we get into the word of God, we shall pray. Amen. So let us pray. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing. We thank you, Lord, that you speak mightily upon our lives, Father God. Lord, that our hearts are open, that our hearts are receptive. Lord, that we are hearing, Father God, that we shall not fall to the ground, Father God. Only fall on our face before our mighty King. Only fall on our face to know that of the Lord, to know that of their Savior, to know that, Father God, that you will move within our lives and leaps and bounds, Father God, that you will minister to our lives, Father God, from the very crown of our head to the very soles of our feet. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, here today, Father God, that you are more than enough, God. Hallelujah. For what you have started, you're faithful to complete the promise. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and get into the word of there of Psalms 121. Amen. I know that I've shared that times and past before, but I feel like many people still uh, have... Uh, worry or they are uh, having that worry wart amen upon their lives that God is saying you know what I have your back I have this time of your life I want you to walk in peace I want you to talk in peace I want you to be at peace amen that where there is war amen God is saying that he will grant you peace so right now I mean if you are feeling that there is war that is happening within your life God is saying you know what be still and know that I am God over your life and know that even in this present circumstances you know what I grant you peace in this time of war you know what you may be having warring uh, situations with your daughter you may have having warring situations with your wife maybe you have warring situations with your husband maybe you have warring situations with life circumstances situations problems i'm telling you those were rewards we need to cut off every war reward amen so we're just gonna cut that off you know what god has granted us a long life to live amen if we allow worry and warts to come into our lives you know we can cut our lifespans because that's where illnesses come in that's where sickness comes in uh that's where uh different situations of doubt that's working of your mind that god is saying you know what i'm building something out of this i'm working something out of this i'm utilizing every portion every part in your life i'm granting you this peace are you listening to me church i'm granting you this peace today because i want you to have peace god will make those connections for you god will bless you in your time and place amen for your anointing your time and place for your next hookup your divine place for that divine place in him because it's all for the cause of the lord it's all for the cause of being in him it's all for the cause of coming in to the light with christ God has blessed us mightily beyond measure of all of our thoughts, of all of our situations, even of all of our present circumstances. And I'm telling you, God is moving in us and he is expanding us, church. 
and leaps and bounds. Amen. I want you to agree with that today. That God is moving in my life in leaps and bounds. And I believe that's the reason why he has called us. Amen. Just to come and receive that peace today. Come and receive. Amen. Of God's joy today. You know, God is saying, I want you to remove that hate. I want you to remove that bitterness. I want you to remove anything that you feel that maybe in your life that God is saying, you know what? I want you to utilize your life today. I have promise for you. I have hope for you. I have a dream for you today. And you know what? I'm feeling led that we can even do a live personal testimony of a sister in the Lord. Amen. That God is literally changing her life you know, putting her upon that solid rock, amen, because she's been a blessing to this ministry, and I want to be a blessing to her. And just like I've been a blessing to her, I want to be a blessing to your life as well, amen. And so one of the things also, too, that I want to share with you is um, the themes of testing and our temptations. The themes of testings and temptations, you know what, you could say, you know what, I'm beyond the temptations, but also to the themes of testing as well as purification. Amen. God has taken us to a purification. God has taken us on our test of faith. God, and this is going to be a word for many people here today. Amen. Uh, if God, if you're saying, you know what, I'm being tested, you may feel like you're being turned inside out, you know, that God is doing a work with inside of you that you're not sure what's going on here today, but God is removing, he is cleansing, he's purifying, he's washing you with his word, he is washing you with his promises, he is washing you, he's taking you apart, come on now. He's taking you apart to mend you back together, to put you back together. You know what? Because he's the mender of our hearts. He's the mender of where we are standing. And he's creating you to have a sound mind, to have a sound heart, to have a sound and a peace within your body over your present circumstances. Amen. God is saying that he is working out this post for your life here today. And so, you know what? I thank those that are connecting through speaker. Amen. Those that are connecting through these uh, podcasting here today. Those that are connecting to the gathering, the church that we have uh, began. It's a church that was already online church but those that were connecting with me through messenger was saying you know what we want to come connected with you where's your church we want to connect with you where's your church we want to connect amen we want to be a part of the body and so we're utilizing some space right now where we can connect where we can love on one another and just come connected to be the body of christ that christ has connected to come and to worship, to come and to praise, amen, to come and utilize to be a part of this wealthy kingdom. God is prospering us in our minds. God is prospering us in our hearts. God is prospering us in our lives. And you know what? God is prospering us, church. You know what? All around the world. So that's the reason why I believe that God is utilizing all the areas and aspects that we're able to come together as a church, to be together as a church, amen, as well as those that are streaming live with me um, through the internet, through the podcast, I want you to share, amen, I want you to connect, I want you to come and subscribe into the YouTube so we can go ahead and load up these videos live as well. Because we want to be a blessing. Amen. God has gathered us to be a people all around the world. Amen. Um, there is no borders. There is no walls. Amen. That God has connected us. And the wealth and the riches of all around the world. And so once again, church, God has granted us this peace. Amen. 
God has granted us this work. Once again, you may feel like you're being turned inside out, but I'm telling you, God is purifying your life. He's going to utilize your life. This is a prophetic word for many people here today. God is going to change your life upside down and turn it all around. Amen. Uh, We are in, in a new season of our lives that old things that were old, you know, God gave me a word here today. Those things of the past, those things are your trash. And so, you know what? Leave those things of the past, your trash. We are moving forward for the hope where you we're moving forward to our destinations. We are moving forward in the promise. We are moving forward in the might of Christ here today. Amen. I know that there is a time. I know that there is a season and I know that God is working inward and on your life right now. You could say, Sister Tina, why does God use the testing? And you know, I'm here to share with you any areas that we may need strengthening. Amen. We will be tested. Any areas where we may be, where we may need developing we will be tested. Amen. So not only is there in our strengthening, there is uh, the developing, but also God is purifying. Amen. God will purify his people by fire. Are you listening to me, church? Even just like the three Hebrew children. Come on now. When they were literally thrown into the fire. Let me see who you're going to dance to now. Let me see who you're going to bow down to now. Let me see what foods you're going to eat now. Let me see who you're going to cry out now. Even in the midst of furnace. You can say, you know what, Sister Tina? My feet are getting hot. You know what? God's not going to give you more what you can bear. God literally showed up and showed out why the Hebrew children were in the fire. Because not only were it was the Hebrew children, but it was Jesus himself clothed in righteousness, clothed in power, clothed in deliverance. That literally they walked out without a stench, without a smell, even without a torch, even without any kind of residue that they were in the fire. Jesus came up, showed out, and literally brought those Hebrew children out because they decided to make a stand for Christ. They were being purified during the time of a hardness. Maybe you're going through a a purification Because of your character. Listen to me church. Listen to me church. I'm telling you this is a word. This is a word. This is a word. This is going to be a word for many. When God delivers you. And is working in your character. God will work with you in your character. In the back. Are you listening to me church? God has such a grace over your life. That you know what? He's not going to put you in the front. With all your mess. Are you listening to me church? God will purify those things. You know. It may come to a certain extent to the light. But when God begins to work with your character. God is not about exposing you. But he will expose those things in the darkness. And bring them to the light. Where then they will begin to be purified. Are you listening to me church? But when there are things. When there are flaws within our lives. When there are character flaws within our lives. He's going to deal with you in the private. That's the reason why. In our privacy of our own homes. In our privacy within our own closets. When the privacy. Come on now church. When we are on our knees and the privacy of us being in the word of God, that God will bring that change. God will bring that transformation. You're saying, Sister Tina, you know what? I don't want to be the same again. You know what? We need to find ourselves on our knees again. We need to find ourselves before the presence of God. We need to find ourselves before the living word of God. Lord, remove 
that sickness. Lord, remove those diseases. Lord, remove those drug addictions. Lord, remove the impurities upon my life. Lord, purify me with fire. Lord, anoint me with oil upon my head that I will be purified and that oil of high sap will come over me and purify me and cleanse me literally from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. You know what, church? I know that I may have contact with you today. You know what? If God has been a blessing to your life, I want you to know that you can message me. I want to pray with you personally. I want you to connect with our prayer group. Amen. They're Cruzando Fronteras. Con una voz de alerta ministry page. Come and join the list through our email listing. Amen. You're more than welcome to go into the website as well. You're able to connect with us there as well. Sign up for our updates of things that are happening in our mission field. As well as those things that are happening literally all around the world. And those who are connected with that God is birthing us into new beginnings. God is birthing us into um, new areas and aspects where we can be a blessing to you. Amen. So I want to thank you here today for those who have connected with us through our webpage. Those that are connecting with us through our many areas of our social media platforms. Coming into the website. Coming into our social medias and sharing this word of God with your loved ones, inviting someone to come and see these videos as well. Amen. We are so honored. We are so blessed that you are with us here today. Amen. I want to thank you as well as allowing the Lord Jesus Christ to speak for this word of God. Amen. If this word is be a blessing, you're more than to connect with us in the website, Cruzando Fronteras. Amen. INT.com. You're more than welcome. If the Lord is put into your heart, we have an online giving through PayPal. It is safe. Amen. If you say, you know what? I want to begin to sow into the seed. We're looking for sponsorships for those who want to join us as well into our mission fields of reaching. Uh, I can give uh, more information to that as you contact me or as you connect it with us amen we will be doing more updates on our website amen for you to see more pictures and videos of our mission fields and all the wonderful things um we've been in a process and a process of that i could say probably about a year now amen um and you know those that are connected with me on speaker they know that we've been connected there as well so once again i want to thank you amen and just give the lord a clap offering there where you are at amen because you know what god is using your life and he's going to continue to use your life amen and what god is using to you i want to see you grow i want to see you increase amen and i want to see you there amen at our next gathering if god wills amen I want to see you there. So till next time, church, many blessings, and we will see you so very soon. God bless you, church. Amen and amen. Bye for now. Hallelujah. Thank you, church, for uh, podcasting with me here today. Amen. We were doing videoing. Amen. And, you know, God has just granted us such a peace that it's beyond measure that we could ever even intake of everything that God has given unto us. Amen. You know, God says there in Psalms 121 that He has helped us. Our help comes from the Lord. He who has made us is from heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. You know, that's the work that God is utilizing within our lives. I want you to know that you will not be defeated. Amen. He has guarded you. He has protected you. And you know what? He never sleeps. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ never sleeps. Come on now. 
God will guard us in our coming in and our going out. We will never, amen, be distraught as we rest in the Lord and the power of his might. Come on now. The Lord will guide us. He puts his shade upon us. He will protect us even from the sun. Amen. The Lord thy God. He will help us and protect us. We will not be hurt from any dangers. The Lord will guide our lives as he guard our lives and our coming and our going. The Lord is here to protect us from all dangers. You know, as I've told you time and time before, God goes before us. Can I, can I hear an amen? God will guide us within our lives. Now and forever, it is God that will do the work. See, church, God knows who is to hear this sound. There's a sound in heaven that is being denounced. It's being renounced in heaven to speak forth. We are proclaiming this word of God. And God has called you to proclaim this word of God. And he speaks unto our lives. Daily, daily shall we come to the temple of the Lord and to receive that of the Lord. Amen. Church, if you enjoyed this podcast here today, I want you to join me in faith. Amen. I know this word of God goes literally all around the world. Amen. And as the Lord puts it upon my heart, I will be sharing this word of God. Amen. And expressing his word and giving out his word. Amen. But as you has received this podcast here today, maybe the Lord has led you to give, to give, to give, to give towards the increase, to giving into this word of God and to support of the mission fields and to support of this ministry and to support of getting the word of God out. Amen. You know, God has mandate much for me. Amen. And I know that God will provide. Once again, I believe I shared with you before. You know, let's say if you want to give towards the equipment, I'm wanting to do television. Amen. And as we are connecting into television, the offer came to me. Amen. And it's a great cause. We need equipment. Uh, we're looking at, you know, uh, uh, amount of thousands of dollars in order to do that. But you know what? There is... Uh, no shame in God. Amen. And what God calls you to do a thing, he'll bless us. He's anointed us. And you know what? That's how this word of God will be able to go out. And I want to utilize all these ways. Amen. To be able to be that fountain for the Lord Jesus Christ and broadcasting this word of God. Amen. Um, that we enter in through power, praise and worship. That we can glorify the Lord. Amen. And letting you know that we are here for you and we can pray for you. Amen. I'm only taking um, emails right now. If you need a personal prayer, as the Lord leads, I'm able to uh, minister to you through email if you need personal prayer. But also, too, I like that uh, that um, quick prayer. You can message me. Amen. Cruzando Fronteras through Messenger International. You can get a hold of me through the website. Amen. Or you're more than, more than welcome uh, to leave me an email. Cruzando Fronteras, um, I-N-T at gmail.com. Amen. And so you're able to message me through gmail.com as well. Amen. Uh, these are all the facets that you're able to message me, get a hold of me. Now, I just wanted to share with you one more time of those who want to access me. Um, you are more than welcome to bless me. Amen. If you want to do a one-time gift offering through Messenger, uh, you can do that through your phone as well, through Messenger. Or as well, you can do your online giving through our PayPal, Cruzando Frontera, PayPal me. Amen. Through Cruzando Frontera. Uh, you can utilize that on the website. You can utilize that um, as well on many of our 
uh, Facebook uh, platforms. Amen. You know what? It's about getting the word of God out. It's about messaging his word. Let his name be known all around the world. Amen. From the north, the south, the east, and the west. And so God bless you, church. Thank you for podcasting with me. We want to see you soon. Amen. And so I'm excited. I pray that you're excited here today with me. Let us rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord and the power of his might here today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, church. Amen. Estoy así